Live from Hallandale Beach, it's Holistic Strides. Hey now everybody, welcome to Holistic Strides, a Start With Your Feet production. We are coming to you live on tape from my office in sunny Hallandale Beach, Florida. My name is Dr. Richard J. Rimler, otherwise known as Doc Rick, and I am one of a few holistic podiatrists in the country. I am your host of Holistic Strides, a talk show devoted to taking small but powerful steps down a path to a more holistic lifestyle with an emphasis on foot health and the start with your feet approach to wellness. This includes unique advice on supportive shoes, orthotics, exercise via high intensity interval training, organic nutrition, vitamins and supplements, and stress management. So why should you watch or listen to my show? The short answer is to achieve better health through self-empowerment with the understanding that it all starts with your feet. The idea is to add one holistic principle to your life every month so it becomes a habit and gradually transform yourself to better health. Just take it one step at a time. I can guide you since I have undergone the same transformation. Therefore, I walk the walk. Today, I will be talking about vitamins and supplements. Before we get to that, I want to go over what I feel is the most important thing that you can do for your health, besides not smoking cigarettes, high intensity interval training, which goes by the acronym HIT. Start by picking your preferred mode of exercise. It could be walking running, using an exercise bike, an elliptical machine, a treadmill, doing jumping jacks, or swimming. Do this close to home for convenience and to avoid excuses not to do it. Try doing it in the morning since it only takes 10 to 12 minutes. That way you can get it done before work or school. Otherwise, do it when it works best for your schedule. Try to do this three to five times per week, such as Monday through Friday, while you are in a work mentality. Here is my personal prescription for high intensity interval training. Start off with a 20 second fast velocity, followed by a one minute slow recovery speed, and do this for six intervals. In my case, I go out to the street in front of my house and I sprint for 20 seconds. Then after the recovery portion of roughly one minute where I just walk slowly, I reverse my direction and sprint for 20 seconds once again for the next interval. After doing six intervals at 20 seconds fast speed, I then switch to a 15 second fast velocity followed by the same one minute slow recovery speed and do this for three intervals. Guess what? You are now done and ready to shower. The take home point is that the final three intervals must be done at a faster speed to reap the benefits, which are substantial. These benefits include strengthening your lungs and heart, aiding in weight loss by inducing a 12 hour fat afterburn, reducing Alzheimer's risk via enhanced body oxygenation, and most notably, being anti-aging. Think of it as your own personal stem cell treatment given to you by yourself. I have been personally using this, doing this technique since I first heard about it when I was age 50. And I can honestly tell you that this is one of the main reasons for my continued good health into my 60s. By the way, you can access a free ebook download about HIT, including my prescription, by going to my website, startwithyourfeet.com, and then you can find it in the blog section. 
I invite everyone to incorporate HIT into your schedule and join the Start With Your Feet and Holistic Strides family by climbing aboard the wellness wagon with me. Now let's get to our main topic today, which is going to be vitamins and supplements. So being a holistic podiatrist means that I try to use safe treatments and I take my Hippocratic Oath very seriously. When I got my medical degree, I took the Hippocratic Oath and that involves first do no harm. So if I can treat a problem and do it safely and effectively, then there's nothing not to like about that. I'm going to drastically cut down on chance of side effects using safer treatments. So what do we mean by that? When somebody takes an Advil or an Aleve, they can possibly end up with a stomach ulcer and end up in the hospital. If I'm giving a natural anti-inflammatory that's going to treat the same problem and do it safely and quickly, I know that that's not going to land them in the hospital. So that is a big, big bonus to me as far as the safety profile. So you just have to know how to dose things appropriately. So that is why you don't want to self-treat things. You want to do it under a doctor's supervision. So obviously there are doctors that are familiar with holistic principles. Those are the doctors that you want to talk to in regards to treating problems. The majority of doctors out there are not trained in it, nor do they care about it. And so to me, you want to go to something that has a safer a safety profile, and therefore you want to go to a holistic doctor. So there are contraindications that need to be known when you're dealing with vitamins and supplements, just the same as if you were uh, treating it with a prescription. So if you're on a prescription blood thinner, there are a lot of supplements and vitamins that you cannot take. So that is, again, why you want to go to a doctor that is well-versed in this to make sure that you don't inadvertently cause a problem. But the bottom line is that the safety profile of vitamins and supplements are obviously going to be much safer than prescriptions, which are synthetic, can cause problems inadvertently. And then there's also the potential for drug-drug interactions that can cause hospitalizations and, and serious problems such as even death. So when you're looking at vitamins and supplements, the quality of the brand is very important. You want to have brands that are made from a good manufacturer. GMP is one example, which stands for good manufacturing practices. Not all brands are going to have that. But if they do have that, that means they have gone through extra testing and quality control to make sure that there are fewer contaminants and impurities in that product. So therefore, you do not want to buy typically from a pharmacy or a Walmart because you want to have something that's from a better brand. It doesn't have to say GM, GMP on it, but you do want to get a brand that is from a reliable company. So let's talk about uh, the Doc Rick Big Cinco Plus One as far as vitamins and supplements. So Cinco is five in Spanish. So these are five supplements that and vitamins that everybody should be taking in my eyes. The first one is a probiotic. The probiotic is the healthy bacteria that lines your gut and the small and large intestine. I believe everybody should be on one because everybody needs to be placing healthy bacteria into their body all the time. So what, what do these healthy bacteria do? They improve digestion, they boost your immune system, and they fight inflammation and musculoskeletal pain. So that is important for everybody. To me, the magic number for probiotics is going to be 50 billion. That's a B as in billion. CFU, colony forming units. So you want to have 50 billion in each capsule that you take. You want to have multiple strains of bifido and lactobacteria because one goes to the large intestine, one goes to the small intestine, and they will help break down your food 
and help you absorb nutrients better. You, uh, a, a nice thing about probiotics is that they do not interact with blood thinning medications. So if you're on a blood thinner, you can safely take it. Usually these uh, probiotics are going to be refrigerated. So that's one that usually you want to buy it in the store, take it home and put it right in the refrigerator. They do make non-refrigerated versions made for travel. Those are going to be vacuum sealed. They will be more expensive. So even if you get it online and it's refrigerated and they ship it with the dry ice, it is going to lose some refrigeration. So therefore, I usually like to tell my patients to buy that one in the store, a local store, quality health food store. It's going to be in the refrigerated section and they have a whole bunch of probiotics there. You want to try to get one that fits the criteria and take it home and put it right in your refrigerator to keep those healthy bacteria alive. By the way, if you're taking an antibiotic, you want to double or triple the dose of your probiotic because the antibiotic is knocking out the bad bacteria in your body for a reason, but it's also knocking out inadvertently the good bacteria, which is one of the reasons why you get diarrhea when you're taking an antibiotic. So therefore, if you're on an antibiotic, you want to double or triple your dose of the probiotic and you'll drastically cut down your chances of diarrhea. So that's number one. Number two is fish oil rather than flaxseed oil. So fish oil is going to be something that is natural anti-inflammatory. It is involved in the cells of your body. And that is an important component also of your regimen. So fish oil has a better absorption than flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil gets uh, into your body and then has to be broken down into the fish oils and you lose a lot on that conversion. So you do want to, if you're going to take fish oil, you want to take a fish oil, but you do want to take one from a good company that is pure because otherwise uh, f certain fish oils, most fish oils out there are going to have mercury in them. So for instance, you want to have a well, uh, a pure, clean product such as Nordic Naturals or Carlson. Those are going to be pure and not have contaminants in it. So fish oils are going to be anti-inflammatory, which uh, inflammation causes 90% of all health problems and it promotes cardiac health. So that's an, that's an important one to be taking regularly. Another, the third thing that I like to recommend for my patients is CoQ10, which is a coenzyme and it is the gasoline for all your cells. So you want to give all of your cells gasoline. The mitochondria in your cells are the engine and the CoQ10 supplies the gasoline to that engine. So it's going to give you energy. The ubiquinol version of CoQ10 is the bioavailable version rather than ubiquinone, N-O-N-E. Ubiquinol, N-O-L, is going to be the one that's better absorbed and better, and your body will be able to make use of it better. So this does interact with blood thinner. So if you're on a blood thinner, you really shouldn't take it. it uh, however, if you are taking it, you're going to see that it's very important for brain health, heart health, and nerve health. So even some neuropathies are related to low CoQ10. So if you have a neuropathy that's related to CoQ10 and you supplement with CoQ10, you can improve the nerve symptoms such as burning, numbness, tingling, just by supplementing with CoQ10. Otherwise, you want to give yourselves energy and CoQ10 is a great way to do it. So number four on my big Cinco list is vitamin D3, which is actually a hormone, not a vitamin. It is involved in a hundred different body functions. It is going to improve your immune system. It's going to reduce osteoporosis and it potentially reduces cancer. In many studies, they have shown that taking vitamin D has reduced the risk of cancer. Your body can make vitamin D3 by spending 20 to 30 minutes in the sun without sunscreen. And believe it or not, your forearms are the most abundant site on your body for receptors for vitamin D. 
if you're taking the supplement, I recommend 5,000 international units per day, Monday through Friday. On the weekends, you can skip it. If you're out in the sun and getting some sun on the weekends, you can probably skip taking the supplement on weekends. So realize that vitamin D3 is fat soluble, so it will accumulate in your body. So there is a range to check when you go for your blood test to check your 25 hydroxy vitamin D. You want to make sure it's in the right range. And I can say that you probably want to make sure that you want to get that range above 50 or 60. And then you're going to be heading towards much better health in your body just by getting that vitamin D up because it affects so many different functions in your body that they actually consider it a hormone. So number five on the big Cinco list is a food-based multivitamin or wheatgrass tablets or wheatgrass juice. So that most multivitamins, including the best-selling one, Centrum, are synthetic. And so they have a lot of artificial things in them. So to me, anything synthetic, not natural, is not going to be the way to go. So if you can find a food-based multivitamin made from real food, that's fine. And if not, you can take wheatgrass tablets, which basically have all of the vitamins and minerals in them. And basically, you're ingesting the sun, and you're ingesting energy, and you're ingesting all of the things that plants have in them that are good for you. So wheatgrass has vitamins and minerals, the power of the sun coming into your body. That is what they recommend at Hippocrates Institute for people with very, very serious health problems. They're drinking fresh wheatgrass juice twice a day to improve their health. Uh, to do fresh wheatgrass takes a lot of effort. If you're getting it at the store, you can go and get it at the store here and there. But if you're doing it yourself, you have to do it fresh. It takes a lot of time and effort. Um, you're, you can potentially freeze it and then use it afterwards. But uh, I prefer taking the tablets because it's more convenient. So severe disease, at uh, you're going to be making use of a raw vegan wheatgrass juice diet is going to be the answer for uh, severe disease and serious problems. So keep that in mind when you're picking out your regimen of supplements. So the bonus one, the big Cinco plus one, the bonus that everyone I believe should be taking is liposomal vitamin C. So vitamin C is typically ascorbic acid. That can cause stomach upset. That can cause kidney stones. Liposomal is a form of delivery of the vitamin C that gets it into the cells without the side effects. So vitamin C is antiviral and anti-cancer. So I think that everybody can use both of those benefits. So liposomal is the delivery system. So it gets it into the cells, then the vitamin C can do its job. So other forms of supplements are liposomal. And if you do find that, you will have a greater chance of that supplement getting into the cells and doing their job. It won't be, and the, so the absorption of any liposomal product is going to be better. So when you are fighting a cold, for instance, you want to increase your dose of the liposomal vitamin C to try to increase your vitamin C in the body to help fight off the virus. So for a very serious problem, you can always do intravenous vitamin C. You can go, there are all these pop-up clinics now that have intravenous doses of vitamin C. Uh, you can go to certain doctors that do nutritional therapy. They do intravenous vitamin C, which is good for a, ho a whole host of serious health problems. So keep that in mind that uh, if you're going to take vitamin C, and I highly recommend it, that you take the liposomal form. So that is basically the big Cinco plus one. So we're talking probiotic, fish oil, uh, CoQ10, vitamin D3, a food-based multivitamin or wheatgrass juice, 
wheatgrass tablets, and then the, the, the bonus is the liposomal vitamin C. So if you're not going to take too many vitamins and supplements, those are a good start of what to take. So my model of holistic podiatry uses vitamins and supplements to treat many common foot problems. The reason I do it is because of the safety profile. I know that I'm going to have very, very few chance of side effects. So in one of the supplements that I use is it has garlic. So some people might have a stomach upset from it, and that's easily helped just by taking it with some aloe vera juice. However, it's not going to cause a stomach ulcer, and that's a big difference because a stomach ulcer can land you in the hospital. Uh, taking a supplement with garlic in it will not land you in the hospital. So the safety profile is a big deal to me. Dosing is the key. So you do need to know how to dose uh, to treat a problem and you have to do it safely. You can go, you can go too much on vitamins also. For instance, if it's fat soluble, it's going to accumulate in your body. So you do have to make sure that you're dosing it properly and preferably under a doctor's supervision. Drug interactions actually do need to be considered even with vitamins and supplements because they do interact with prescription uh, vitamin prescriptions. So you do need to know this, uh, what, what the prescriptions the patient is taking and know, make note when you're making recommendations on a regimen that includes vitamins and supplements because there are drug interactions. So I take my Hippocratic Oath seriously, which is first, do no harm. So that is why I am a holistic podiatrist. So I learned from my wife how to treat problems in a holistic manner because she was dealing with a health problem that was serious, that she was dealing with in a holistic way. I saw what she did and I, I said, there's no reason why I shouldn't do it for myself. Then once I learned about things for myself, I felt there was no reason why I shouldn't do it for my patients too. So that is how I came to become a holistic podiatrist about 12 years ago. And uh, a lot of my patients are very enthusiastic when they find out that I'm a holistic podiatrist. And obviously some people search out the fact that I'm a holistic podiatrist. I wish there were more people that were aware of it. Uh, over time, I'm looking to educate people out there to tell people that there is another way to treat problems with a safe with a safety profile that is much better. So that is my mission. That is why I'm doing holistic strides. That's why I'm a holistic podiatrist. That is why I designed my own orthotics, all in the name of self-empowering people to take control of their health with safe things that and be proactive with your health. So sp spend some money up front on the vitamins and supplements and the orthotics, let's say, and then prevent yourself from having chronic problems and diseases down the line. So to me, it makes sense to spend the money on yourself rather than giving money to doctors and hospitals. Well, it looks like we are out of here. I hope that you enjoyed the show today and learned something new. I want to thank all my striders for your support and attention. I hope that you guys can incorporate today's topic into your lifestyle gradually over the next 30 days to make it a habit or a mindset, one small step at a time. Email me if you have any particular topics that you want to talk about on future shows. Until next time, start thinking outside the box and keep watching and listening to Holistic Strides so you can keep on walking and running strong. See you next time. <laughs>